Does your iPhone show a laptop and lightning cable? This is commonly known as the recovery mode screen. Getting stuck in this screen can happen for a variety of reasons, including a failed iOS update, jailbreak errors, or worse, hardware-related issues. In this video, I will show you solutions that can potentially get your iPhone out of the screen and back to normal operation again. Let's go! Usually, if you are experiencing glitches or errors with your iPhone, the common solution is to perform a force restart. Keep in mind, though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone X, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side button simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. If your iPhone does not work because of a corrupted iOS version, you can try using iTunes or Finder to restore your device to normal operation. If you're on a Windows computer, you can download iTunes from the Microsoft Store for free. Mac users can use the pre-installed Finder application. Make sure you use an original or an MFI certified cable to connect your iPhone to your computer. This is important to ensure that data can be transferred. Now you can enter the recovery mode with the same key combination you used for the force restart. But this time, keep holding the keys until you see the recovery mode screen. To check if your iPhone is successfully connected, you should see this phone icon at the top of the iTunes toolbar. If you were on a Mac, you should see it under Locations in your Finder. Now you have two options. First, you can simply update your device to resolve any glitches from your previous iOS upgrade. If the update fails, your second option is to restore your iPhone. Unfortunately, this will reset your device. Hopefully, you have a recent backup in iCloud or on your computer, so you can restore it after the reset. If you don't have one, you'll lose all the data stored on your device. Unfortunately, the process of resolving software problems on your iPhone using iTunes or Finder may not always work. Aside from that, restoring your iPhone leads to loss of data, particularly if you haven't backed it up. Because of these disadvantages, the best approach is to use a third-party repair tool instead. Personally, I use iMyPhone FixPo. This software is specifically designed to fix common iOS issues with a few clicks. You'll find the download link in the description below. FixPo is compatible with both Mac and Windows PC, so make sure to choose the right OS before downloading the installation file. After installation, launch iMyPhone FixPo on your computer. Then, connect your iPhone using either an original or an MFI certified cable. First, I would try to restore your iPhone from recovery mode. Simply click the Enter or Exit Recovery Mode menu from the dashboard. The best thing about this feature is that it's 100% free, so definitely give it a try. Continue with Next and proceed with the restoration process by clicking Exit Recovery Mode. Please note that the recovery may not be successful on the first attempt. To increase the chances of success, repeat this procedure at least three times until your iPhone hopefully restarts. If that doesn't work, consider using the Apple System Repair feature. Compared to using iTunes or Finder, this feature has a higher success rate in resolving software-related issues. Aside from that, this doesn't cause any loss of data. However, please note that this is a paid feature. From the software dashboard, click Apple System Repair. Then choose Standard Mode and follow the on-screen instructions to begin the repair process. 
Once the repair is complete, your iPhone should restart normally, and you should be able to continue using it without further issues. If all software-related solutions fail to fix the problem, it could be the result of an unintentional drop or another event that caused damage, resulting in hardware malfunction on your iOS device. For hardware problems, the best approach is to contact Apple support. If your device is still under warranty, they may be able to repair it at no charge. If not, they should be able to diagnose the problem and give you an estimate of the repair cost. You can either visit the nearest Apple service center or contact them directly via chat or call on their web platform. To contact them online, open your browser and visit support.apple.com on your iPhone or computer. From the dashboard, browse to the Get Support section and click Start Now. For more personalized support, sign in with your Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to start your request. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.